You know, paper is such a versatile medium. And Nancy Hill joins us from Die Cuts with a View. And you have some amazingly beautiful things that you've made for the home. And they're all out of paper. And we've been admiring this dress throughout this series, Nancy. It's absolutely gorgeous. Isn't it fun? I just have had a love affair with paper for 25 years, and I thought it was time we started to show all the different things you could do with it. Well, this is amazing. And even the necklace at the top, that's also Isn't made out of gorgeous? paper. Isn't it gorgeous? It's you gorgeous. know, and it's part of that. Use it up. Make it do. Don't waste anything. Right. So it feels good to make something out of paper that can be beautiful and uh, and. This, we're not suggesting everyone do this, but it does show <laughs> all the techniques that right, can be done. Right, but just the elements on the dress, the right. roses, the flowers, the little sprays that you have there. And, and this is with paper that we probably already have. Yes. It's, it's all from one grouping of pages, too. And um, I'd love to show you okay. how this is, this is just one stack of paper and all the different varieties. And we would make the rosettes and cut pieces out. So if the paper were like this, what we did is I cut out the, where's the oh, little the, bird? The little bird. Yes, and you can see the designs on the paper. And then we took the other page and went down. Mm -hmm. And that actually is the base to A this. Behind the flower. And then some of the other papers in the collection matched to do the rows, the rows, some uh -huh. of these pages, and so you could see we could have just as easily done this out of the oh, butterfly. Yeah, look at those beautiful butterflies, yes. too. But I like this spray, Nancy. Isn't that fun? Let me show you what we did. These flowers were already printed on there, but you mm -hmm. could make them yourself, and you know how moldable this is when you do it, but these were cut out from the stack, and we just took the back, and glued right them on. Onto wire. You know, I'm feeling this paper, and it's a very nice weight for paper. Basically, we're paper sculpting. Mm -hmm. And this is such a wonderful weight for doing that, so it's not going to tear. Yeah. And you know what? That would make a great headpiece. I know. <laughs> maybe. It would look beautiful, darling. Maybe to the wedding, the royal oh, wedding. We should. Yes. We should go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you some of these other things. Okay. And you. Well, let's look at this dress down here, Nancy. I just love that. It's very, very mm. 70s. And I got all the papers coordinated. There's paper, all the colors work together. And you've added glitter to that, right? Well, it had a little bit of glitter, and then we went over it to just make it pop. Uh -huh. Isn't that fun? Now, what did you use for a little for the form underneath? The it? form that's just a little paper mache form. The very inexpensive that you get at your local craft uh -huh. store. On the um, on the other one, the black one, that's the cream that we've. Um, I can see that as a jewelry hanger. I love the oh, elegance of yeah. this. Well, I can see that as a centerpiece for a very, very special, like a black tie affair. And I love the flocking on that paper because oh, that really yes. brings out that it could be kind of like fabric. Mm -hmm. And you've added lace to that and the tulle around the bottom. That's just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And it's just right from a paper stack. We didn't um, we didn't uh -huh. add too much. We've got a little toile there, but all the colors blend, so it's pretty easy to pull it together. It's beautiful. And the paper mache form is probably just painted with acrylic right. paint, or even mm -hmm. cover it with decoupage. Little pieces oh, it of could paper be. that we have left over. Very inexpensive to start. And I love the little necklaces a... around the top. Yes. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Now this, I have to say, this is just wonderful. All the, the colors, the black, and the foil. And what we did on, on this one. Yes, I loved this at Christmas time. We were making these out of this and made a wreath that went up the staircase with these hanging. Oh, here, let and me hold this up right You can you. see you can when show. those are all bunched together and this was hanging, how beautiful that was. And it's very simple. Um, Julie, we just take this and cut it out. We had okay. a form. I'm not sure if we used electronic machine or not, or if we just cut them by hand. Or we can just make a pattern. And then, mm -hmm. and then this is one of them, and maybe you could show us how you how you fold that. Oh, okay. So, I think you told me we could roll it around a paintbrush handle. Let me just lay that down, mm -hmm. Nancy. Sometimes this, they wet it a little bit, but on these, uh -huh. the paper's strong enough that um, it just rolls. Well, I'm just going to crease it just a little bit in the center. And I know that our viewers are going to want to know all the instructions 
and see all the designs and they'll be available on the website. So I'm just rolling this around the paintbrush handle. Great job. Like that. Oh. And then we'll turn it around and do the other side. This is really so easy. And like I said earlier, this is a really nice weight of paper to do this with because I don't think you could do it with every kind of paper. Well, it holds so, up well, too. Yeah, it, it, does. it does. And if it you is. did want to do some sculpting, you'd uh, wet it with a little bit of water mm -hmm. in the paintbrush, and then you could even do more embellishments. It's a lot more forgiving when it has a little print to it. Yes, See, it is. A little <laughs> bit, you have to be a little bit more exact with these, but the prints are very easy, and of course, we may... We had to mail this so it got a little bump there. Right. But now in this flower right here you've got ribbon in here and you've got some colored beads in the center and you know what you know a lot of times we go to the fabric store because we want to make home deck projects or something and we'll buy we'll buy fabric but you know we can consider doing it with paper. Oh. Obviously not everything but I love a it, and I love things. to mix it with the fabric and with the jewels and anything that you seem to happen around. The, the one thing I like about this is really the endless possibilities with a piece of printed paper or just a piece of plain cardstock. We're only uh, <laughs> limited. We're only limited, <laughs> right? But our imagination yeah. and your love affair with paper. Oh, right? I do you know love what? it. We want you to come back next series and bring some orange and pink paper with you, and we'll make a garland for our set. I shall do that. Okay. We might even design you your own little dress. Oh, <laughs> Nancy, thank that you. Would that be would be my adorable. pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.